Today we are going to be going over how to set up an email merge using Microsoft Office 2007 products. In this demonstration we'll be using Publisher 2007 with Outlook 2007. However, the same steps that we do here you can use to set up a email merge in Word or Excel or any of the other programs for Microsoft Office 2007. Before starting, you will want to already have your publisher document already created and saved and ready for you to send out via email to all of your clients. Once this is done, go ahead and open that document in Publisher. You are going to go up to Tools on the top menu here. Click Tools, Mailings and Catalogs, and Email Merge. Once you've clicked Email Merge, you're going to see a window pop up. And some people, they've got this window to pop up on the right or left. It should just pop up in front. You can move this around if you want, like this. So that you can make it comfortable however you feel more comfortable using that on the side there. Once you, you'll notice here, it's got what we're about ready to do, the email merge. The first step is for you to actually select or create your recipient list. You have three options. You can use an existing list, uh, whether that's something that you have in an Excel spreadsheet or an Access database. You can use your Outlook contacts and directly select from that, or you can just type a new list if you don't have a lot. For this example, we're going to go ahead and use Outlook Contacts. Down here at the bottom, you'll see where it says Next. And we're going to now connect to our Outlook address book so that we can specify which clients it is that we want to use. Once it connects, you'll see this window pop up here, the Select Contacts. I have numerous address books actually, but for this one we're going to use the default contacts folder that is set up whenever you use your Outlook. Um, so I'm going to have that highlighted and we're going to press OK. For most people, the default profile name that comes up will be sufficient. Some people might have numerous profiles that they use on your computer, but again, most likely it will be your default profile name that you're going to choose to connect with Outlook. As you can see, once it connects, it brings up all of your address books, <clears throat> all of the different, um, any context that you have in there. And by default, they are all checkmarked. To uncheckmark these, maybe you don't need them to go to everybody within your address book, you can just click the very top panel up there. And then you can just individually select who you want to be set up to receive this email. And you can click on as many of these as you would like. You can also sort by first name, last name, title, company. Obviously this will, um, as much information as you have in your address, address book will show up here. So there are different ways that you can find your contacts. Once you've selected the ones that you want to use, you're going to go over here and hit OK. So once you've selected OK and you've come back to the screen, you're going to now proceed to the next step where we're actually going to prepare our publication. You'll notice it has here shown what I have selected as my recipient list, my Outlook contacts. So I'm going to head and press Next. It's brought up another screen here, and this is actually used to insert the merge fields that you want to use directly into your document. Um, right here, I am wanting to personalize my email for my customer, so I am going to type uh, <clears throat> dear and then click on first with the comma. I actually want my color to be different. <clears throat> So now when I do this merge, every email is going to say dear and then have the first name that is in my address book show up on the email. You can continue to put more specified information um, in there for your client and this is helpful maybe if you've used an Excel spreadsheet with some customer data, maybe some numbers in there that's specific for everybody, sales numbers, sales quarter endings that you could be sending. Once you've already 
changed your document, the next thing to do is create a merged publication. So we'll click on that. Now what we've done is it's, it's ready. It's, it's merged. We're still seeing the original form. But what I can do right here, and I recommend everybody doing, is to preview the actual email before you just hit send. So what we're going to do is we're going to click Email Preview, and it's going to actually, as you can see, prepare. It's going to pop up an Internet Explorer window. It's really a temp file, an HTML temp file that we can view. And you can see this is my publisher file that I had, how it will look when it sends out the email. This is the first name, and then this is the next. And based on here, you can go back and just close this window and see if I want to change any of my font and my text. And I can simply click the previous button to go back and change anything that I want. If I'm satisfied with everything there, I'm going to go ahead and click Send. Now, right here, when you click Send, it's giving you an option to put a subject for your email. So remember, you know, we're sending this out by email. So whatever you're going to send, whether or not it's uh, sales ending quarters or happy holidays, you would type this in this area. And now when I've done that, you can also see who we're going to here. I only have two email addresses actually set up. But I, I actually have options. And I can CC somebody on this, or I can blind copy somebody on this, and I can make an attachment. So maybe I'm wanting to email everybody, but also attach a new form that they're supposed to be filling out on a monthly basis. You could attach that. So I'm just going to leave this like this and hit send. It always gives you this warning unless you click this little box. But I'm about ready to send two email messages, and that's how many I had set up in my example. So I'm going to hit OK, and it sent. And it gives you this pop-up saying it was sent directly to your Outlook. And to confirm that everything was sent, you would go to your Outlook inbox. So let's click over there and look. And one has popped in. I have one more, and there's the other one. So now I have both of these that sent, as you can see. And they are individual to the person I was wanting to send them to. There you go. So now you've done it. You've completed your very first email merge.